Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rides. I'm back here at Dimmage Chevrolet in sunny Clearwater, Florida, and guess what we have? This is a lightly refreshed 2021 Chevrolet Colorado. This midsize truck, guess what, is packing some turbo diesel power. But before we get into the lightly refreshed 2021 Colorado, let's talk about what's going on with this midsize truck from Chevrolet. So this is gonna be that competitor to go up against some of the brands like the Ford Ranger, the Toyota Tacoma, the Nissan Frontier, and obviously even the sister brand, the GMC Canyon. But what is happening for 2021, which hasn't happened in quite some time, almost since about 2015, is that there's some physical changes to the exterior of the Colorado. And then of course, like I mentioned, underneath the hood of this particular LT trim is gonna be that Duramax turbo diesel engine. Now. If you're looking for a mid-sized truck, but you need to have some optimum, some premium pulling towing capability, this Duramax may be the one to get over, say, a Jeep Gladiator with the Eco Diesel or any of the other competitors because what you're gonna find is some crazy towing capability. So let's go ahead, let's find out if this is the king of the mid-sized towing pickup trucks. Right off the bat, let's talk about what's new for 2021. You're still gonna get that same headlight design. So I am gonna zonk that. I wish they would have done something with the headlight design. It is looking very dated going all the way back to 2015. As you drop down though, here's where you have some of that change. You have some gunmetal gray kind of extending out those lower functional fog lamps, which is really nice. And then as we come across the grill, this is the big change. So this is how you know you're looking at a 2021. This is that updated grill, flat black, fully functional. I wish that this one would have a blacked out bow tie, especially with the black grill and our particular black paint job on this particular Colorado that we have. But other than that, you could see some of the change that they did in the design. You work your way down. You do have also a functional opening in this lower area. And then you'll see how the lower bumper, which is flat black, kind of curves around into an air dam to help with aerodynamic efficiency. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you still have the same hood. It's got a nice crease to it, fits the new grill, very clean. You have a U-shaped indentation in the center. And then other than that, simple body lines, everything coasting towards the A-pillars. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with on our LT trim of a Colorado? You're gonna get these bright silver, metallic wheels design definitely screams chevrolet every time i see a wheel design on one of their trucks whether it be the colorado or the silverado that has this particular design it's just unique to the chevrolet brand this is a 17 inch wheel diameter 255 on the width and a meaty 65 series sidewall plenty of room between the top of the tire inside of the fender and i've always liked on the colorados how they do a nice flared out fender look. Now, as we go down the fender, you'll see a tasteful Duramax diesel badge on there. Not many brands have that diesel capability for their midsize trucks. Yes, Jeep. Yes, obviously GMC with the Canyon, but Toyota and Nissan, and definitely not Honda, they're not packing any turbo diesel power. You're gonna get painted mirror caps, the Colorado badge on the side, good height, tasteful, I do like the nice indentation that they run along the bottom of the doors. Obviously, this is a crew cab being that four door setup, flat black around the window trim. And then as we work towards the rear, this is gonna be the short box. So when we say short box, we're talking about a box that's five feet, two inches. If, if it's a long box, that's gonna be over six feet. Now, what I do love, and I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing around, is show that flared fender look, especially at the front, especially at the back, the way it's got that nice flared fenders. And then out back, what they did was they took some cues from the bigger brother, the Silverado. So you're gonna get these nice, massive openings. As you can see, my Nikes fit in there, no problem. But the reason why they have so much space is for a nice steel toe work boot to fit in there without any issues. The way they did the tail lights, and then as you come across the tailgate, you're gonna get that Chevrolet name stamped in there, Colorado, real simple, real clean. We work our way down. Of course, you're gonna get have all your tow accessories. Everything is up high, out of the mud, so you can plug in and not have to worry about any of that. And then when it comes to the bed of the truck, soft release, which is nice. This particular one does not have a bed liner option in. You can get a bed liner option in, or you could go get your own, but 
Very simple, you have your tie down locations at all four corners, and then you have, if you notice here, all these covers, you could add more tie downs. It would be nice to have some actual tailgate uh, bed lighting. You do have the lighting up top at the back of the cab, but there's no actual interior lighting, manual sliding glass window on the cab, and what I am gonna zonk is up top is gonna be that remote control looking rubber antenna. They need to just go with shark fin antenna. Looks so much cleaner, but why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood of this Colorado and check out that turbo diesel engine. All right, guys, we got the hood open on our 2021 Colorado. You do have hydraulic hood struts, and I think one of my favorite things about the Colorado is having the three different engine options. A lot of the com uh, competition does not have that, but we have the 2.8 liter Duramax turbo diesel four-cylinder, 181 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque out of a four-cylinder. That's what I'm talking about, Chevrolet. It is mated to the hydromatic six-speed automatic transmission, the vehicle weighs 4,478 pounds, MPGs, 20 in the city, 30 on the highway, and guess what? She can tow 7,700 pounds. So our particular one is real wheel drive. Of course, you could get this in four by four configuration, but to have that type of towing capacity really puts it at the top of the midsize heap if you need to be towing some heavy items. But while we go ahead, let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2021 Chevrolet Colorado. Some changes on the outside. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, if there's changes on the outside, are there any changes on the inside? I'm gonna show you what you're gonna find, but I know you're at that point where you're saying to yourself, Joe, I need a mid-sized truck. I need some towing capability. I like having the option of a turbo diesel four-cylinder. How much is this one? You're looking at MSRP right around $37,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. The bad news is the interior is still basically 2015. So you're getting hard plastic up top, rubber on the armrest that's as hard as Plymouth Rock where the Pilgrims landed. And then you're gonna have a weird mixture of some bright silver and some gunmetal gray finish there. You do have a nice twinkie pocket mid door. And then as you work your way down, maybe you might be able to get a, a one taco in there, but you do have a large bottle holder there. You could literally put a super slurpy from 7-Eleven in there. Now, when you come to the dash, same story, no changes, hard plastic. You do have some nice silver trim here. I wish they would utilize this silver trim, but you have an eight inch infotainment system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Wi-Fi hotspot. I like the way you got that camera accessibility real easy with your trajectory. And it does pretty much take up the whole screen very easy to use, which is nice. And I do like the fonts that they have on the different uh, items here that you go through. But right back to home, and there it is. Drop your way down, flat black. You have your simple but effective AC controls, your blower fan switch, no dual climate. That's gonna be a Zonk at $37,000. You do have your toggle switches, are, which are real nice. Your exhaust brake, this is a turbo diesel. You got your lane keep assist, you got the lighting out back, which is real nice to do to turn on the lights out in the uh, in the bed. You do have a little bit of a Jolly Rancher holder here. You could easily put about 10 Jolly Ranchers, line them up, cherry, watermelon, grape. And then down below, you have two USBs, a 12 volt, and then probably enough sp space for about four Three Musketeers. And that could be your Three Musketeer holder. Two cup holders. This is gonna control that six-speed automatic transmission. Another cubby here for that end of the day Twinkie after a hard day of work. Have that Twinkie there waiting for you. Just as hard as the armrests on the doors, which means that they're as hard as a rock. But you open it up, you could drop a box of Twinkies, Zingers, Hostess cupcakes, real simple down in there. And then the seats, they are all cloth, but it's gonna be easy to keep this interior clean because they're all black. Real grippy material, which is nice manual seat control for the passenger and mostly for the driver. There is a little uh, electric accessibility for the driver. A good, good amount of headroom. I mean, I've, I've been in bigger, obviously, but a good amount of headroom. I feel comfortable 
that's nice. And I do have an auto dimming mirror, which is also a nice touch. It's not frameless. So I am gonna have to zonk it, but it is auto dimming. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Colorado. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of the 2021 Colorado. Like I promised you, you do have a little bit of electric assist for the bottom, but the rest of it is all gonna be manual controls. I wish that the seat bottom came out just a little bit further because of my longer legs. Overall, the space is decent. Steering wheel is leather wrapped and I do like the contrast stitching. This really is old school. The Game Boy style buttons, it's like left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, start, and then you're gonna be playing your games and whatnot with those Game Boy style buttons. And then the dash, another piece of traditional uh, history. You have your analog tech, analog speedometer, fuel and coolant, and then you do have a digital display in the center there that you could toggle through a cornucopia of different information. The steering wheel is manual tilt and telescoping, which is nice. So that gives you a little bit more flexibility. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the back seat and see how your little workers are gonna be enjoying their ride in your Colorado. All right guys, back seat time. And for our crew cab, even though this is a midsize truck, it is a little tight back here uh, compared to some of the competition. And of course you can go higher trims to get leather interior and whatnot. You can see the amount of space that we have. There's no pocket. So if you have your own abacus, you're not gonna be able to store it anywhere. You're gonna have to put it in between your legs and that's gonna hurt if, uh, if you squeeze your abacus too hard in between your legs. You do have two USBs, which is a nice addition and also a 12 volt. So they do have you connected very nicely there. A little bit of a tray, maybe for some Tootsie Rolls. Like I was saying, I'm six feet tall, so it's just a little tight back here. Is there an armrest? That's a nice touch. Even though most of the time I'm not thinking that this is the best design, they do give you enough real estate on both sides to where you could have your super big gulps and not you know, fight with one another on who's putting their arm where. And then of course you're gonna have the manual sliding rear window here. You could have somebody back there and throw some snacks at them, throw a Twinkie, hit them in their head. And then the last piece of this puzzle, which I didn't get to show you up front because the car, the truck was running, was here's your key fob. Very, very dated. It does have lock, unlock, remote start, and you have the good old fashioned key ignition. So for those, some people still love them. It's nice, I guess, that Chevrolet still has it, but if you're ready, I'm ready. We have the keys, literally. Let's take this Colorado diesel for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2021 Chevrolet Colorado with the turbo diesel Duramax engine. Very unique setup, and right away, you're just gonna feel all of that great torque. That's 100% for sure. I am just hoping, I'm rubbing my rabbit's foot, I'm putting a quarter underneath my pillow for the, che the Chevrolet Godmother to bring us a redesign of this interior. It's functional, it's easy to use, it's easy to keep clean, but it's very, very dated and I think that's where it's gonna have some issues with some of the competition. Although some of the competition is hasn't been redesigned either, but I do like the exterior changes that they made. Just a little bit of grill change really kinda almost gives it a little bit different personality. And as we're driving down the road, very, very comfortable suspension damping going on. Seats are a little hard, but not as hard as the leather seats that I have found. I just wish that bottom cushion just came out a little bit longer. That would make it a little bit more comfortable, but rolling on throttle here. Let's see how we do on throttle. So you have that six speed automatic transmission, shifts just fine. You got plenty of torque. This truck is not meant for the drag strip. I mean, it's that simple. This isn't some hopped up race truck, but you do have that great towing capability. I love the visibility out the front of the vehicle. V visibility out the back is wonderful as well. And the steering wheel has a nice thickness to it, especially with the leather wrapping on it, gives it that nice extra special touch that makes it comfortable as you're navigating your, your, your truck through your, your work day, so to speak. But getting to the infotainment system is a short reach. I do like the height of 
the door panel to rest your arm on. The, the, the challenge is, like I pointed out, it is hard plastic. So it would have been nice for them to at least bring some softer materials at this price point. But obviously you're paying for the engine. You're paying for that Duramax turbo diesel engine in this setup. But I really liked how smooth it is as you're driving down the road. That's really nice. And like I said, they did a lot of great work with the suspension tuning to give you a nice overall feel. But pulling out into traffic, I'm telling you, it, it does have that low down grunt, which I really like on these diesel trucks, especially the midsize diesel trucks. All right, I wanna get this Colorado out onto the highway, see how she drives, how she goes down the road. But I think for many people, a mid-size truck really hits that sweet spot when it comes to the overall size. And if, you, like I said, if you need that extra towing capability, you're definitely gonna get that heapings in this Colorado with the Duramax in it. But going down the highway, super smooth. I'm getting a little bit of wind noise from the side mirrors, but uh, other than that, really does drive nice down the road, holds, a, holds the lane well. And then when you need a pass, you get on throttle, drops down a gear, and you're off and running. So hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the Colorado is all about. I know we're still waiting for some major changes, as, a, as I am, but uh, they did do a little bit of refresh on that exterior, and they still kept the great three choices of engine options. But we're gonna go ahead get back to Dimmit Chevrolet and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, been another great day here at Dimmit Chevrolet. Definitely gotta thank Raheel, Eli, and the rest of the crew getting us access to this lightly refreshed Colorado. Has Chevrolet done enough to really change things up? From the outside, it's nice to have a little bit of change, but I really think the big point, the big sore spot that they're really missing out on is that interior, especially when you're comparing it to some of the newer mid-sized trucks that have been redesigned or that are totally new. But is it still a mid-sized truck that you should put on your list if you need some towing capability? You definitely wanna take one of these for a spin. Hey, who knows, you may fall in love with it. But if you wanna keep seeing mid-sized trucks like these on Randy's Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Oh, almost forgot. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Let me hide that up there. Got to give it up to my wonderful wife, Lori. Awesome camera woman. Work at that camera like a champ. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.